one with him. Just one with him, okay? Come on. Everybody's out. Okay, guys, I give you instruction in the dressing room. They're having a clean match, okay? Good luck, God bless you. You know, this is an expression in baseball, fellas. That's what it looks like when you think world class fighter. Time TV. That's what it looks like. Tiempo de televisión, okay? I mean, just a total package. 16 and 0, 11 of his wins by knockout. We'll see what kind of test Lenin Castillo can give this. Scheduled for the championship 12. Again, all four champions at 175 pounds will fight over the next three weeks. So B-Ball kicks things off here. Before... B-Ball hasn't got the knockout on him. Instead of destroying everybody, it's going to be a lot more difficult. Last three fights, Isaac, you remember? Some of you spoke about that. Look, that last fight, that was in March of Steel in Verona, New York. But by 8 to 39. I mean, that's a shutout. That's a shutout, fellas. Can I? Can I? Yeah. Joe Smith Jr. almost got a home run. Okay, Sergio, I, let's not act like Isaac Chalemba and Armand Fade and John Pascal are top level light heavyweights. Go for a knockout against a guy that doesn't have considerable. But the two prior, I don't think he's been this against Southern Barrera. He was up big in that fight, and he went for the knockout and got it in the 12th round. Did you see John Pascal's last fight? I mean, he is. He's a highlight reel. He's difficult to get out of there. He's as tough as he can. He was basically retired. This or creating a mandate, right, to fight the other champions. It is helpful when you get guys out of there. B-ball at bay. Sergio, he's trying to solve the puzzle of Castillo right now. Castillo is an Olympian. He's, his only two losses are to undefeated fighters. So it's going to be That's a second test for Dimitri Bivol, that's for sure, especially to get the knockout like Chris Mannix. It's, de that. it's demanded, yes. Castillo, again, ah. full size, light heavyweights. And we await the main event, Alexander Usyk, Olympic skill. Already with the world title belt, the title defense here. Bivol. Bivol beats you. Still in stabbing that midsection of Castillo as well. Castillo's a little bit taller, has a little bit longer reach, so you can break that in half. Stabbing him downstairs with the general round. Light heavyweight average is 23 per round. So for a man this size, he throws a lot of jab. Not sure how many he threw there in round one. He's well above average in the jabs landed as well. well Castillo's reach is six inches long, so it's going to be a little bit difficult to break that, that distance. Good point. And he's, and he's calm too, Sergio. I mean, you see that, that calm presence also deters you. And he did this fight of his career, Lenny Castillo, went up against Marcus Brown in May of last year. By the way, that was a legitimate knockdown. Marcus Brown was an Olympian. It's a southpaw. He was undefeated at 21 and 8, so I mean, that, that's a tough time for anybody.
Pique, Jose Bonilla is very happy with what he's seen closer, work the body, be a little bit more active, but they're satisfied with what Lenin Castillo is doing in the ring. So far, I mean, he's rather just so good, but he's not dominating. What would your advice be for people? Well, he's winning quite a bit, that's for sure. The most successful punch that I've seen him has been that jab to the gut, but he needs to continue that and double work downstairs as well. Round four scheduled for the championship. Steele has had two fights since losing to Marcus Brown. He's won the both, they're both in the Dominican Republic. This is a huge step up in the class. You can see, not intimidated, it's a hook there. The place would explode. Remember that? Well, Mayweather not be involved. Landing to the body and landing to the body. Oh, shot right out. Down goes Castillo. And the body. Shot right out. Hey, come on, come on, come on. Okay? Wow, Bivol really changed things there. You see how quickly he can seize the opportunity. A lot of time left. Half the distance. He steals on the floor. Let's see if B-Ball gets after it. Hispanics eventually throughout the night. B-Ball could do something spectacular to make a name for himself, or he could just defend. Let's see what he tries. I think it's an opportunity here. Create that mandate we talked about before this fight. If you get a big knockout against a credible opponent, you can do something. That, that was gorgeous. It was a beautiful knockdown, but I don't think Castillo is that hurt right now. Like his body language is, is really good. His eyes look clean, so. Bivol needs to be careful as well. So he can't just go in there looking for the knockout because Castillo looks right to me. No, no, he, he got to himself and he follows back here. He was smart. Bivol just put him down to him. Yeah, we've got a little sort of boxing. He's a little hesitant to throw that jab now. Let's big knockdown in. Back to work here, round seven. He's going to have to have to get hands up like that constantly. And I'm just going to try to block him. Bivol right now averaging 39. And more scoring shots. And we don't do a big damage to Steel. He is scoring consistently in winning these rounds. We just got a guy down in spectacular fashion. We're good. If you want to win the world title, you better check this out at all times. Bivol again, very good. Seven rounds tonight. Bivol's streak to opponents landing a single digit. Drop Castillo. And yet, is it enough for the Chris Maddox's of the world? No issue. Parks this guy. It's true. A bunch of people. As well. And that's why they knocked out his head. Get a signature from Steve. Which is what he's going to do. Get the people up against the ropes. Try and make things happen on his end. Again, this is his big chance. Opportunity of his career. Throw some good body shots. Now he's going to get the hook to the head. And then he'll get the hook to the head. 
Jalemba and Sullivan Barrera, Jim Pascal. These guys are some of the best fighters in the world. Maybe he's just a little smaller than most of these uh, light heavyweights. 70-inch like So yeah, maybe he's just a small light heavyweight. Castillo just waiting for his moment to land that catch and counter left hook right there. It's like a rat trap. As soon as he touches, then it's going to snap. And Bebo's one of that translated. We got it. Round 10, championship rounds here. Light like heavyweights had his moments. Bebo left 60, 76 inch reach to the big light heavyweight. Translation there from the point. Well, it's enough to win. I don't know if it's enough to electrify the division and create a mandate to get a big fight. But people are doing this job. Look, the question. Look at this one. Beautiful work by people. Some of the other yeah, champions at 175. It's like they will better be at the very least. This guy's a hard one. You will take this time as well. Could be a bit of a chest. A bit of a class when it comes to the counter punching because that's what Castillo is looking for. The people are really shocked with the punches. Under the right hand there in the final seconds and looks to punctuate the with a flurry as he does. 
and the champ with an easy title defense and convincing here in Chicago. Respect for Castillo. I mean, he was laughing on the way down, winked at him in the corner. He was in this fight looking for the right shots. The counter shots, especially, Lugo was aware of that. I mean, it was a one sided, real good performance by, uh, by that champion right there. Let's go back to this fight. Go to the judges' score totals. Nelson Vasquez, 120 to 107. Mike Fitzgerald and Javier Alvarez both scored the bout, 119 to 108. All three for your winner by unanimous decision. And still, the undefeated WBA light heavyweight champion of the world, Dimitri Bivol. Team life. 